So I've often been asked about that guy right there. That is the eye color. That's the 550. I used to have the 800, which printed 11 by 17. But with the 550, I can still do 11 by 17 if I use a software called SmartCut, which splits the image in half for you. So that when you put it on a shirt, you get that 11 by 17, and it lines up perfectly where you would never be able to tell that it was two different prints or sheets. So the question I get asked is, is it really good enough? Is it better than DTF? Which one is better? I would say that DTF does have an edge on this guy, only because with this guy, although with DTF, if you print a really big image that covers the whole front of the shirt, it can feel papery. It doesn't always feel soft. And that was the complaint that I would always hear about the eye color is that, oh, you can't print anything without it feeling like complete paper. That can be the case too. But the thing is, people have this idea that you can just plug it in, print it, and you'd have to do nothing else, right? That's not always the case. When you're printing images that have, for instance, you're printing on a black shirt, you're printing on a blue shirt, an orange shirt, whatever else, and your image has those colors, take that out. Create that negative space so that the image can have some a softer feel to it. The image can breathe on the shirt, right? It's the same thing with the eye color. Uh, there's a process in there where it's called rasterization. For those that don't know, for those that do know, then you know what I'm talking about. But rasterization will create these small little holes throughout the image. Might give it kind of a vintage look, but not always. Because you can change the, the sizing of the holes. You can change the type of holes that you want your image to have. Now, I printed something today that I'm sending out, or a few transfers, because I do still sell transfers on this eye color, believe it or not. And uh, this image didn't require or need any rasterization, but it had enough space that it's going to breathe very well on the shirt. So I'm going to take you through uh, real time. Uh, I've already printed it, right? So I'm not going to take you through that part, but I'm going to take you through the part that, that people say, well, it's too hard to marry and it takes forever. With DTF, you know, you have to print it. Comes out. If you have a shaker, it'll automatically shake. If not, you have a tub on the side with powder in it. You run your image through there. You got to shake it. Then you got to press it for five minutes or so or hold the press down. You're not actually pressing it, the, the, the transfer down on DTF, right? Because um, you don't want to burn that that uh, that transfer. But you want to hover the press over it so that it can uh, cure that powder on the back of your transfer and make it a transfer. So with the eye color, all you got to do is you print it out. You take what they call the B sheet, stick them together, A and B sheet, A being your printed design, B being the adhesive sheet, and you marry them. That's the marrying process. I take the little corner of the uh, the B sheet, turn it kind of like a bunny ear, because that's what's going to be the part that I pull after I marry it. I stick that on the press for 120 seconds, sometimes 110 seconds, so that it can marry, stick that adhesive to that design, and then as simple as that, I pull it right and that creates a transfer so i'll take you through it real time if you have any other questions about the eye eye color after this feel free to dm me i have i have gotten people so many of them it's a great tool a great printer to have you can still do transfers you can still do hats you can still do neck tags you can still do pocket hits you can press to so many different things like you can do with dtf so don't discount the eye color it, it is affordable i think the 560 runs somewhere around three grand you might get some one for a little cheaper than that uh you know kind of the equivalent of a dtf but so you don't have to convert anything right you don't have to maintenance this thing at all it, it's it's just ready to go and i get seven thousand prints before my powder even runs out how amazing is that i can just wake up and print if i want to that's just an option i, I do still love dtf but this is just an option so let me take you through real time of doing a sheet marrying it. I'm not going to press it to the shirt because I'm selling these transfers to somebody, but you'll see how long it takes to just get a transfer done. And then you tell me what you think after that. Is it worth it? Is it not? I think it is. Here we go. All right. So here are our transfers here. Uh, this fella got 40 something of them, a couple different designs. Uh, there's some on the back somewhere back here as well. Let me see. Right. So we've got a couple different designs. This is a uh, 8.27 by 14. Our design is 12 across. And it's eight going up and down. He didn't need a humongous image. This is what they call the A sheet. Prints out very, very colorful. These are vibrant prints. Don't let anybody talk you down on the eye color if you're ever interested in them, right? That's your A sheet. This is your adhesive sheet, right? Which is this guy right here. And it's so easy to tell which side is your adhesive side because on the back, that line is letting you know, don't stick your printed side here, adhesive side. Right, all I do is take that, 
marry that right there, right? Um, I'm, I'm using one hand, so I won't be able to fold that corner like I'm talking about, but I've already done that here. So this is what I do. You fold that corner, that, that little rabbit ear, right? He's ready to go. And then we're gonna take him, throw him on the press. So back over here on our press, these are the settings. Oh, well, actually, it's not that one. Let me move it because we're doing it real time, right? So these are the settings, 320 for 120 seconds. I like to lay a piece of Teflon down so that I don't, you know, damage this in any way. Not that these sheets will. They won't. I think it's just out of habit. I lay that guy down, right? We're going to take our transfer. Look how easy this is, right? Remember, you got that ear. Take yourself a piece of parchment. Put that over the top. Making sure it doesn't uh, remove that ear or fold it back the opposite way, right? That's it. Slide him in. Firm pressure, by the way. And let's see. One-handed, baby. And now we're going to watch it in real time. You're going to watch it with me, right? So you see how long this actually takes. I know it's kind of boring. I know it's kind of boring. But just so that if you get one and you're marrying these sheets, as I'm sitting here, you know this is how long it takes to do one sheet. 120 seconds, yo. That's not bad because it's going to take you almost 10 minutes to do it with one sheet on DTF with a converted printer because you still got to print it. You know, like I said, the powder, then you got to put it under the press unless you've got an oven, but it still takes six, seven minutes, maybe even more, right? This is going to take me 120 seconds, man. That's nothing. This is, again, another option if you want to create uh, some great transfers. With every with everything, there's a learning curve and there's differences. But for those that have knocked the eye color, uh, you're tripping. You're tripping. I have grown an entire business with this eye color uh, and the things that, I, that the tools that I've used. So trust me, uh, you can you can have some great success. And there are plenty of groups like on Facebook and YouTube that are dedicated to the eye color folks. Let me see. I'm going to move around here for a second because I need to. Oops. Remember, we're shooting in real time, right? So I need to set this up over here so you can see me pull. Bear with me. I don't want to lose you because, again, we're real time, right? Let me set him up. Ooh, go over one. All right. Let's see. Sorry, there's so, so much movement, guys, but I want to shoot this, like I said, in real time so you can see how long it takes. So it's winding down. I may not be able to get right over the actual transfer that I'm pulling, but you'll be able to maybe see it from the side. So here we go. Hopefully you can still see it on there. Uh, I, hopefully I, I got enough uh, video space. Okay, so look, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna pop up and look how smooth, look how easy this is. It will peel just like butter for you, right? Look at that. And this is the only thing I have to do to get a sheet done. And bam. So I always like to make sure I got everything. And as you can see, because I do marry the hell out of some sheets, I'm good at what, the, uh, what I do with this. There's nothing left behind. So we got everything, right? And just like that, my friends, your transfer is done. It's ready to go. Ready to print or press to a shirt, right? So let me go back over here and grab this here camera because again, it's all real time. So what I will do at the end, like I said, here is your transfer and it's done. I want to go back through because it will leave like when I bend it, it'll leave some of that adhesive in there. So I'm going to take that adhesive off, which uh, doing it one hand is kind of hard. So I've already finished this one. It'll end up looking like this. You take that adhesive off, adhesive off uh, any, any that's left over around the sides or the edges or whatever, right? So that way when they press it, you won't get that extra adhesive on the shirt. And there you go, that transfer is ready to go. Simple as that, right? So let me flip back around to me. And that, my friends, is all real time. So it took me less than two minutes to do a transfer. I mean, mind you, I printed them and they print hella fast. They print so fast off that thing, it's ridiculous. So 40 transfers, 40 something transfers, 
will probably take me, I don't know, what's 120 seconds times 40. That's nothing. So again, that is what the eye color can do. I'll, I'll do a few more videos because people have been asking me lately, oddly enough, about the eye color. So maybe the eye color is making some type of comeback. Um, not that it went anywhere because it didn't, but maybe we're drawing some more interest in another option besides DTF. Although I've always said, I've been very clear, DTF, because I've been doing DTF since the end of 2018 around, all of 2019, before COVID, I talked about it when the film was bad, when the powders were caca, and I always said DTF is going to be the next, the next, you know, the next big thing to take off. And although I got called crazy a million times, um, look where DTF is at today. I say the same thing about the eye color. It will always be an option. It will always have a place within this industry. And it will always be a tool that you can use to create transfers, sell transfers, uh, you know, print directly from, from the house. I mean, because, you know, with sublimation, right, we're limited. You know, polyesters and whites. And I don't want to always easy, easy sub on, on something. Um, you know, so here's another option. Full colors. You can print on, uh, you can press on every, any, anything. Polyesters, cottons, like you name it, right? So that's another option. Look, let's go this way because I'm blocking it. But that guy is another option, you know. And so if you're interested, I'll leave some inter information below. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Like I said, this was shot in some real time. No editing. Um, I don't do a lot of editing anyway. I just kind of go, right? So anyway, if you guys enjoyed that video on the eye color, drop me a like, drop me a, a, something, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can keep up, so you can so that you can keep up. Remember, I'm not I'm not editing, <laughs> so that you can keep up with what I'm doing, and hopefully something that I'm doing is helping you grow your business, and uh, you know learning something new. With that being said, I'm out. Mm -hmm.